my YouTube friends and family, I'm a survivor and thriver back. Guys, why hunt green iguanas for food? I'm going to give you 11 reasons why. I made up a list here, and if you've hunted for a green iguana, and um, you have other reasons why, I would like for you to post your reasons why you would hunt green iguana in the comments below. Alright, so number one. Where I live, green iguana is an invasive species. Since they are not native here, they are destroying the ecosystem due to the fact that they do not have any natural predators. They are native to Central and South America as well as the Caribbean. In the United States, they are invasive in Florida, Rio Grande in Texas, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. Iguana, number two, iguana <clears throat> are herbivores like rabbits, deer, and beaver. They don't have a gamey taste at all. <laughs> they have a very mild taste. And folks who've tried it says that they taste like chicken, hence the nickname chicken of the trees. It's a lean meat and it has more protein in it than chicken, believe it or not. <laughs> Number three, they are delicious. I've tried it myself, and I'm here to tell you that they are delicious. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I may like them better than chicken. Um, they have a nice, tender, flaky um, type of um, consistency, consistency to them. I've fried them, I've deep fried them, and I've also used them in soups, and they are delicious. Many Caribbean and South American cultures, in those cultures, Iguana meat is a staple of their diets, and it is cooked in curry recipes and all other types of recipes. Number four, <clears throat> since iguana are herbivores, their diets consist mainly of grass, hibiscus plants, roses, and all other types of vegetation, including your precious, nice, organic vegetable garden in your backyard. <laughs> in an environment, where you and your family may be counting on your garden to feed you, it is very important to catch them to keep and keep them away from your garden as well as to catch them to provide your family an excellent source of protein. Keep that in mind, folks. Number five, they, have, they are relatively easy to catch if you have the right equipment. Something as simple as a 12-foot long fishing pole with a string attached to the pole and a um, a loop at the end of the pole to catch them around their necks is all you need, really. Um, number six, since they are an invasive species where I live, there is no limit to the amount that you could catch. It is illegal to catch and release them, though. Once caught, you must keep them as pets or humanely kill them. Number seven, iguana and iguana eggs are considered a delicacy and is served in high-end restaurants and they sell for 30 to 50 dollars a pound believe it or not <laughs> there is a market for them especially here where i live number eight they are an unlimited and awesome resource <clears throat> that will provide you a fresh source of organic hormone free antibiotic free protein in your diet in a situation where you may need to feed your family iguana meat would be a superb option. Number nine, they are the best kept secret source of protein in this country. Most Americans turn their noses up at eating iguana. They are very apprehensive about catching them and eating them because of how they look. They, they look ugly, imposing, and dangerous. <laughs> so folks are turned off by them. You know what that means? More for me. <laughs> Unlike raising livestock, you don't have to house them, feed them, buy feed for them, water them, or take care of them daily. Because you just go out in the wild, catch them, and bring them home. You can, um, you catch them, you kill them, process them, and you feed that fresh organic meat to your family. No middleman is involved. Just you and nature. All right? Unlike fishing, where you have to stay out there for hours at a time and may not even catch a fish, 
iguana could be caught within minutes of making contact with them if you go out there during the right time of day to catch them. Um, I made contact with um, a fellow who lives locally and um, you know I asked him to teach me how to catch them which he did. We went out there one day and I kid you not within an hour we caught about um, four big iguanas you know within an hour okay and I tell you if I could do it you guys could do it too alright it may be a little squeamish at first you might be a little intimidated by how they look but I'm telling you if you have to feed your family this is one of the best kept secrets out there and I'm so happy that I came across it and um, I tell you we've been getting some fresh organic delicious meat from the iguana and that's why I'm sharing it with you guys because we're living in some you know shaky times right now and um, it's good to know that there are other resources out there than going out there hunting with for a deer and things like that when everybody in town is doing the same thing some people might overlook iguana meat and while they're overlooking it uh, you can monopolize on that to feed yourself and your family all right and um, again that's why I'm doing these videos because I want to spread the word out there and to help others because we're living in some, te some treacherous times and um, we must all start getting prepared all right now I'm going to share some other facts about iguana in case you don't know um, in the wild the female iguanas lay 20 to 76 eggs four times a year they are very prolific and surprisingly they are not protective parents once the female iguana lays her eggs in the clutch she abandons them <laughs> and they're on their own so you know it takes a few weeks for them the eggs to hatch and once the eggs hatch they wander out you know and find their own grass and they, they eat and they take care of themselves and um, they're protected until they hatch because the female iguanas they lay their eggs they dig holes they, they dig up to 80 foot tunnels underneath the ground to lay their eggs all right so there are other animals that will go that deep underground to get eggs um, you know for food so I guess that's why they are so prolific they lay their eggs underground and when the eggs hatch when it, the baby iguanas hatch from their eggs then they wander out on their own all right so I thought that was very interesting so I thought I'd share it with you guys another thing the average weight for the male iguana is between four and eight pounds but they could go up to 20 pounds okay um, for the female iguana the average weight is between two to six pounds but they can go up to seven pounds or more all right and so those are the 11 reasons why I think that iguana green iguana would be an excellent source of food um, in a situation where you have to feed your family and you know you may not have access to um, money to get food you know to buy food you can just go out there in the wild and get your own food and I mean it's fresh and organic food okay and um, in the next video I will be showing all the equipment that I use to go out there and hunt iguanas I try to be very incognito <laughs> you know except for that long fishing pole that I'm out there hunting with um, folks don't have a clue about what I'm doing and I wanted to share with you what I'm doing and what equipment I'm using so if you're interested in doing it yourself um, it's very low, low cost to get into and um, it, you can do it all right so that's my explanation as to why I will be sharing my hunting adventures with you guys um, I will also be hunting Muscovy ducks because they are also an invasive species here where I live all right and um, but for the most part I'm going to show you what I'm doing with the iguanas for now all right so be looking out for the next video guys and you know how it goes if you want to be like me I'm a survivor and thriver <laughs>